Welcome everybody. On the channel today, we want to talk about turbos and supercharger. Um, more specifically, today we are going to talk about the turbo charger, how it works, um, what it entails, what it does to your car, and um, how does it compare against the supercharger. So a turbo charger is just simply an air compressor that works to push more air into your engine for your engine to burn more fuel and therefore for the engine to produce more power so think of it like this uh, for the ladies think of a turbo working in the sense of um, blow dry so how a blow dry just um, uses electricity to spool up some air and then push it through your hair how the turbo works so the turbo is split into two parts we have the hot side of the turbo and the cold side of the turbo at no single point does the exhaust gases that are used to spin the cartridge from the hot side get through into the cold side and into the car there is a separation through the seals in between here so the hot air comes in from the exhaust manifold that is used to spin the cartridge this little impeller from this other end that is then in turn spinning the other impeller from this cold end and in turn sucks in air from the air filter cold air from the air filter through this pipe here and then the impeller in here that is now used as a compressor compresses this cold air that has come in and then pushes it through this other outlet into either um, directly into the inlet manifold for cars with smaller turbos or pushes it into the intercooler for bigger turbos like this and other bigger ones because when air is compressed when the molecules in in the air are compressed they are squeezing onto one another and therefore the air becomes hotter or the temperature in the air rises so that temperature that air at that temperature cannot be pushed directly into the car which is why you have an intercooler that the air is pushed into the intercooler to be slowed down a little bit and then to be cooled before it can be ingested into the intake manifold and then when that all happens is now when you have more air into your engine then having more air into engine that means your engine will burn more fuel and therefore that means burning more fuel will generate more power and this is why um, charged engines produce more power than naturally aspirated engines uh, think of it like this um, you're trying to drink a liquid or some juice soda so you have it uh, dripping in while on the other end you have one that is being pushed into your mouth so the one that is being pushed into your mouth will bring in more fluid bring in more juice and the one that is just dripping in that is uh, how the thing works so after that all has happened that is how turbo cars are um, a little faster than naturally aspirated cars we have another component of the turbo here which is called the um, turbo uh, actuator solenoid so this is an electronic component um, a typical solenoid that is used to activate or actuate the waste gate in the turbo so in the turbo here when we have hot exhaust gases coming in here spinning up the impellers spinning up the cartridges to push more air so the car knows the ecu of the car knows how much boost the car needs at a time so in the event the car has received the turbo has brought in more boost than what the car needs so this little guy here through signals from the ecu will actuate or activate another gate a slight hole that that has a cap that plays a role of a gate opening and closing so the unused boost or the unused gases will be actuated through this gate here back into the hot side of the turbo back into your exhaust system and if that um, does not happen some other cars are fitted with um, something we called um, boost control valve uh, some of them do fit things like blow off uh, valves so the boost has already come onto the throttle body and then you lifted off the pedal so the throttle has been shut the boost that came in does not have anywhere to go so what happens is this boost will travel back to the intercooler or to the turbo if the turbo doesn't have that when this comes into contact with the cartridge the impeller spinning the air again there is a resistance which is called the turbo flutter 
So those people who hear the turbo sounding something like that is the turbo flutter. For those ones who do not um, have that, they will install something called a blow off valve. So if you listen to the Subarus and such cars tuned, so you listen to something of that is now the blow off valve getting the unused boost out. Coming to the differences between the turbo and the supercharger, uh, the biggest difference is on how they generate their power. So for the turbo, we are using exhaust gases. We are recycling exhaust gases from the engine to make more power. For the supercharger, we are using the engine's power to generate power. So superchargers, how they work internally, they have kind of two shafts that are intertwined together. So as they rotate, they compress air rotation through the belt so the superchargers are driven by belts that are driven by the crankshaft which is why they use power from the engine to generate their own power or their own boost to get into the engine so the biggest difference is how they make their power and um, how the power is delivered so for the superchargers is direct from the um, supercharger and uh, into the intake manifold uh, because superchargers, how they are made, the bigger the supercharger, that means it will also need cooling. So their cooling components are just under the supercharger, uh, of which most applications are water-cooled. So we'll have coolant uh, flowing through the supercharger to cool things down and into the intake manifold. So the turbo, both do the same thing. Both do boost your power, boost your car, then boosting your power. But then the difference, as we said, from how they generate their power, uh, second difference, in most applications, uh, cars with turbos produce more power uh, compa relatively compared to cars with superchargers because turbos can spool um, as fast enough um, just after they come on song. Coming on song is uh, getting boost. Now, the other biggest difference is on how the power is delivered again. So for the turbos, we have to wait for the turbo to spool up generate boost then go through all the systems um, the pipes intercooler and then into the engine manifold uh, which is what generates turbo lag so the turbo lag is uh, the difference between when you step on the gas and when you actually get uh, the boost into the car when you actually get your car going so with superchargers there is instant power you step on it and boom you are away because there is no uh, this a lot of channels to go through instead the thing is driven by your engine the thing is driven by the crankshaft so as soon as you step on it as soon as your revs just go high your supercharger is already spinning is already spooling and then you have power um which one should you pick there is not really um a big difference in terms of the pricing uh, and the cars that come with this, the charged cars. So it all depends with um, your preferences. If you want that instant power, instant acceleration, go for the supercharger. But if you want the longevity, if you want to generate more power, you can use the supercharger. Cars with turbos are more tunable than cars with superchargers. And uh, that is majorly the whole difference between a turbo and a supercharger.